Welcome. Um, I was just saying, if you're watching this in replay, we are making an Aperol spritz tonight. So if you have heard of this, tell me, where did you hear of it? Um, I've got some fun background on this drink. I think it's a good one. Uh, it's tasty. Um, but yeah, if you, well, first, if you're watching, uh, throw up a like or a heart, big little heart, uh, throw it up there, give me some love, um, and then comment, tell me if you're here. I want to know if you're here. I will say hi. Um, yeah, and we're in also, like, I never know if I'm having technical difficulties, so if it's not working, <laughs> let me know. Uh, so it's wine cocktails. 101. Welcome. This is another Friday that we've made it to. Um, tonight, we are making the Aperol Spritz. So um, I can bring the recipe up first. So here is, it's a very simple recipe. All you need is an Aperol, a bottle of Aperol, which I can, I got at our Hy-Vee Wine and Spirits, although I recently learned that that is a new occurrence that our Hy-Vee even has it. Um, so if you are looking for Aperol, um, if you're in the Fort Dodge area, you can get it at the Wine and Spirits store. Um, if you're not, I'm sure you could get it online. Then you will need a bottle of Blanc de Blanc from Soldier Creek Winery, some soda water, I forgot that, some ice, and some orange slices. Um, and it's really simple. You can just read through it right there. Um, all you're doing is you are adding um, equal parts Aperol and Blanc de Blanc. And then you're throwing a splash of soda water on um, over ice, and then you garnish it with an orange slice. Hello, all my viewers. Uh, so welcome. Uh, if you are here, comment with a hello, because I want to hear from you. Um, and if you've had an Aperol Spritz before, tell me where you had it. Um, so the fun history behind the Aperol Spritz. So back in the early 1900s and before, um, the Germans were occupying Italy for the first time, um, and they brought over with them their little custom of making a spritzer, um, which they call shola, or, you know, like wine with soda water. Um, and really, that's all it is. They would just cut their wine with soda water. And so they do it to the Italian wine, um, which I'm sure the Italians probably hated, but, you know, who knows? Like, I wouldn't want people cutting my wine with soda water, but, you know, if it's okay, fine, fine. Um, but this was developed as a spin on that. So they added the Aperol, which um, I think the easiest way to describe Aperol is like, I was saying this to my mother-in-law, Tammy, it's like a tincture. Uh, it's like a alcoholic um, herbal thing. Uh, I can't, uh, oh, my mom is asking, what exactly is Aperol? Uh, so really, yeah, it's like a, it's like, you know how like gin has a lot of different like herbs and, um, I don't know, really like herbs and like root that they put in it. And it kind of makes it like this really like earthy, weird uh, alcohol. Aperol is similar um, in a lot of ways. It doesn't taste like gin um, and it's definitely lower alcohol. But if you've ever had like Pims, it's this, on the same level of that. So it's like I said, like a tincture. Uh, it's like alcoholic, something that um, I think in the past they used to think it was like a health drink, <laughs> which now we know better, but let's just call it a health drink for tonight. Um, so this is, that's Aperol. Um, but when the Aperol spritzer was made, um, it was intended, uh, well, it was in 1919. So this is over a hundred years old. Um, it was intended to be a drink for the athletic woman because it's an aperitif. It's a lower alcohol, so lower calorie, um, drink that is uh, probably not meant, it's not something you're going to get like drunk on. It's something to enjoy on nice weather time, or it's something that you would just um, really like to drink just like in nice weather. <laughs> My mom. <laughs> mom says she's good with a health drink. So we're going to call the uh, Aperol Spritz a health drink because it, it is, you know, with lower alcohol, technically it is lower calorie. Uh, okay, so let's go over the list of the things you're going to need. You're going to need a wine glass with ice in it. So mine is currently melting, but it's okay. Wine with wine glass with ice. Uh, you need your Aperol. Uh, I made this <laughs> in another um, another class, so I've, I'm down to here. Um, Brian Long 
Yeah, he's good with calling it a health drink too. Good, me too. Yeah, we're gonna call it a health drink for tonight. Uh, so Aperol, again, I said um, in Fort Dodge area, you can get this at your local Heavy Wine and Spirits. Um, I would like, if you have a liquor store in your area, check there. Um, then you're gonna need a bottle of Blanc de Blanc. So a traditional Aperol spritzer would have Prosecco in it, but we're using Blanc de Blanc, um, which is actually sweeter than Prosecco, but it's still bubbly. And actually I think it's gonna really complement this. Um, and then you'll need some soda water, which hopefully mine is still carbonated. Let's find out. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> okay, so this is just water now. I'm gonna try it. Yeah, nope, that's water. Okay, so mine's gonna be without soda water, which is probably fine because this is carbonated anyway. Soda water, I think, is just a little, it's just a splash anyway. Um, and then uh, a garnish, your orange slice. Yeah, that's it. Oh, and a bottle opener, because this is, it's under pressure, um, but it is a bottle cap. So you need a bottle opener, um, church key, as some people call it. So let's get started. Um, it's super simple. I'll bring the recipe back up so you guys can see it again. Okay, so again, you need the Aperol, Blanc de Blanc, soda water, ice, and orange slices for your garnish. So you fill the glass about three quarters with ice, you add equal parts Blanc de Blanc and Aperol, and you leave a little bit of room for a splash of soda. Add your splash of soda, garnish with an orange, orange slice, and as they say in Italy, saluti. I don't know if it's saluti or salute, because I didn't look it up, sorry. Everybody ask your Google Translate right now and let's find out. Uh, okay, but let's get started. So again, I'm not using soda water because my soda water is now water. There's no more soda. So that's what I get for now. I planned, what is it? If you fail to, fail to plan, you plan to fail. That's what I did tonight. Sorry. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to start with Blanc de Blanc. So I started with Aperol uh, the last time I did this. And I just noticed that it kind of stuck to the bottom. So I think it'd be better if you start with your Blanc de Blanc. So I'm gonna pop it open. Oh my, I was almost gonna bubble over. Wee, I'm glad it didn't, that would've sucked. Okay, so we go about, uh, we're gonna go about halfway of what's available for room uh, with a Blanc de Blanc, because we wanna do equal parts Blanc de Blanc and Aperol. Okay, so I'm just gonna go a little bit more. Um, yeah, and so our Blanc de Blanc, if you've not had this, this is a sweeter bubbly white, and it's very aromatic, a lot of tropical fruit flavor. So really that goes, that would go really nice with your Aperol. Um, okay, and so you fill the rest with Aperol. And I know there's probably some people who are wondering, look at that color, I love this one. Um, the Aperol is just, it's a really low um, alcohol, uh, I don't know what you would even call this, like addition aperitivo. Um, it's just 11%. So again, like I said earlier, it's an aperitif because it's low alcohol. It doesn't have a lot. So this is, right, this is 11%. I think Blanc de Blanc is similar, 12.3%. So really this isn't that much. This is like drinking a glass of wine, but like over ice. So, you know, basically, basically not drinking a glass of wine. Uh, sorry. So I need a garnish with my orange. I didn't cut it right. So you can pop it on here for cuteness like doesn't this just look like not the season that we're in right now because I'm sorry what was it like one felt like one degree today my car said it was 11 and I didn't believe it as I before I left I asked Siri I said what does it feel like outside and she says it feels like one and I thought yeah definitely it feels like one but I have to say and it, it feels like one but Iowans be like I'm gonna wear shorts to the grocery store Good job, you guys. That's crazy to me because I think that's freezing. Anyway, pop straw in and we're good to go. You've got your Aperol spritz. That's delicious. Um, this is something Tammy um, talked to me about. If when you drink it, it feels a little bitter, you got too much Aperol. And so for me, I thought it tasted just a little too bitter. So I'm gonna add more Blanc de Blanc. And I think the club soda probably would help cut that uh, but yeah it's just like the Aperol is really it's just a bunch of herbs roots I don't know whatever they put in there they don't let you know because it's like a secret recipe but whatever's in there um, it's a little you wouldn't drink it on its own it's just a little bitter because it's herbal but it's really good once you mix it which is the whole point of Aperol is to mix it so yeah now I've added some Blanc de Blanc and it's way better 
and also the yeah the black de Blanc's good i love the prosecco because it's like it's bottled or it's um carbonated in the bottle you know um but our black de Blanc has a lot of bubbles and so it's like perfect for this for me i love a bubbly drink and you you don't have to drink it with a straw you can drink it sans straw yeah, and it's just as delicious. Um, yeah, just, I mean, this is the perfect summer drink. We drink this all the time um, in the summer that um, it got like big again in Germany right before we left. And we had Aperol spritzes like often. It was so good. I mean, it was perfect in the summertime, but really like if you're missing the summer, <laughs> the warm months like I am, get yourself an Aperol spritz. Um, yeah, I, that's pretty much it. I'll pull the recipe back up. In case you want one more look, it's really simple. You need Aperol, Blanc de Blanc, soda water if you like, um, which I think could help, uh, ice and orange slices to garnish. So you fill your glass with three quarters, uh, three up to three quarters with ice. You add equal parts Blanc de Blanc and then Aperol. You leave room for a splash of soda if you have it. Um, add a splash of soda and then you garnish with your orange slice. So that's all I have for today. Salute.